Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about your person, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking or feeling about you and what are their intentions towards you for the near future? So let's jump right in for Pisces, spirits, angels, guides. Guidance messages please for Pisces in love. What does Pisces need to know regarding love? So let's get some insight here. Okay, what's going on in your connection? The Chariot, Two of Swords, Reverse, and the Eight of Cups, Reverse. Cancer Energy with the Chariot. Now this is interesting that I have the Chariot with Eight of Cups, Reverse. So what that tells me is that this is not someone that is prevented from leaving a situation. This is someone that's returning. Okay, in your energy, put these three down and then your person's energy on this side. Now feel free to reverse the roles. You know, I have you on one side and this person on the other. Uh, feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more. Queen of Swords reverse at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Well, the Queen of Swords reverse is difficult to deal with. Um, they can be vindictive, they can be petty, they can be uh, hard to speak with or communicate with. They could be very angry or just not someone you want to spend any time with, the Queen of Swords reverse. Sometimes it's because they've been hurt a little too much. Um, they kind of snap in a way. So let's see what we get um, for you guys. Please for Pisces if I could just okay so let's get some insight here on what's going on in your connection both of your energies are here the two of swords is reversed which is typically a card about someone that has already made a decision um <clears throat> sometimes it can mean that someone is refusing to make a decision or can't make a decision but because I have the chariot here, I just don't feel like that's the case. I think this is someone that's finally made a, a difficult choice. Tell me about the chariot. What's this about? Why is the chariot here? Queen of Swords. Okay. Someone that's made, whoever's made this decision to move, make a move of some sort with the chariot. Um, they've done it. Um, I feel like it's been a very decisive decision. Queen of Swords doesn't play. Um, they're very good with boundaries, the Queen of Swords. So this could be somebody that is just being very analytical about this decision. Can I go one more for the Chariot? Knight of Pentacles. So this could be somebody going after a new opportunity here. Taking their time. Um, when I see the Knight of Pentacles with like a card like the chariot I think of someone that's really thought about where they're going um, they're not rushing this this isn't like a risky move seven of swords okay strategic move three of cups nine of swords at the bottom of the deck and the two of cups Ooh, so this could be somebody leaving a third party, perhaps, with the Knight of Nine of Swords and the Three of Cups. This could be somebody worried about a reunion as well. We'll have to see if that comes up again. I feel like this is somebody that's thought about things in a very strategic way. When I have the Seven of Swords with the Queen of Swords, that's what I'm thinking. Um, I'm not thinking of deception just because of the other cards here. It's almost like this is someone's way out. Um, this is someone's best chance is to be a Seven of Swords, Queen of Swords. This is somebody thinking of themselves, um, thinking of an opportunity for themselves. Okay, can I get some insight into this Eight of Cups reverse? Like I said earlier, I think this is a return. Someone returning to a place they've left. I keep thinking of Cancer because of the chariot here. Tell me about the Eight of Cups reverse. Why is the Eight of Cups reverse? Okay, Eight of Swords. Fear, 
feeling stuck, overthinking. Can I get one more for the Eight of Cups? Reverse. Queen of Wands. So I think this is someone that's returning. They are fearful, but they're still doing it. Or they are um, overthinking or their mind is playing games with them. You know, maybe they're very nervous. Maybe they are second guessing themselves. Maybe they are um, just scared about returning. But I think with the Queen of Wands here, they're still going to do it. The Queen of Wands is very bold. Queen of Wands is uh, someone that um, typically gets what they want. You know, what they what the Queen of Wands wants, she typically gets. Her approach is just, that's mine. I'm going to go after that. Um, usually she is successful. So at least one of you in this connection is going to make some sort of a return I think that you could be returning to a place that you lived before or returning to a past connection, returning to returning home, perhaps moving back. Tell me about the two of swords reverse. Why is the two of swords reverse? For Pisces, why is the two of swords reverse? Eight of Wands, yeah. So someone basically made the difficult decision to make this move. Um, Nine of Swords is at the bottom of the deck again. Um, so I feel like this is someone that this decision was an agonizing one. It was not an easy decision to make. Um, I feel like they made a judgment call here. Judgment is right after the Nine of Swords. So this is you, Pisces. You really made this decision to move forward, move on. Despite the fear. This is someone who um, the fear did not get to them. The fear, because fear is a very natural thing. We all experience fear. And sometimes fear can control us, right? Fear can prevent us from doing what we want to do. It happens all the time. It's just a very human thing, okay? So I feel like this is a situation where someone has decided that they're going to do this despite the fact that there's fear everywhere or um, they agonized over this decision. So let's see what your energies are like here for between like the energies between you and this person. Can we get some insight for Pisces and this other person that they're dealing with? What are the energies between Pisces and this other person? Spirit, tell me about Pisces. What is the energy that Pisces is bringing to this connection? Tell me about Pisces. Restoring balance, resolution, harmony, stability. Balance is being restored. So you're focused on harmony, stability, restoring the balance that maybe has been lost or that just wasn't present in your life. Tell me about the person Pisces is or will be dealing with. What are their energies in this connection? You could be wanting to resolve an issue with this other person. Tell me about the person Pisces is dealing with. Wow, unexpected event. So they have like the tower card of this deck. Unexpected shocking events have shaken things up. So this person could be um, causing a tower, experiencing a tower in their life. Let me see if I can get one more for the both of you. Some sort of a re revelation, upheaval, ending that this person's uh, dealing with or that maybe is happening. This could be happening uh, in your connection. Some of you also, you know, the Seven of Swords could be what you're trying to move away from, Pisces. That could also um, be an option here, you know. Instead of being a strategic move, this is someone that is leaving this type of energy behind, the Seven of Swords. So if you were dealing with someone that was sneaky or deceptive, you might be the one that's trying to leave this 
situation behind um, or your person. Okay, can we get one more for Pisces? Tell me more about the energy that Pisces is bringing to this connection. Bad health. Okay, so yeah, I feel like you, this is like the Ten of Wands for me in this deck. So I feel like you were dealing with a situation that was very difficult, Pisces. Um, maybe this took a toll on you, on your mental health. Um, maybe it was just a little too much for you to deal with. And, you know, now it's like you're trying to um, restore the balance, right? Make things better for yourself, make better choices, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. Um, Maybe your relationship had some sort of, um, I don't know, difficulty happened between you and this other person. What's this? Courthouse. Okay. Um, so I feel like this is... Um, this is a situation that maybe wasn't the best. The connection between you maybe wasn't the best for a while or uh, you were not really dealing well, well with the situation in this connection. Okay, so tell me about the person Pisces is dealing with. What are their energies? Tell me more, Spirit, about their energies in this connection because they have the tower. Lovers, number 15. So I feel like this is an unexpected event tied to a partnership of some sort. I'm gonna look at that 15, because this deck has so many, um, every card has at least three interpretations. So it's always kind of, love, falling in love, love or friendship. Romantic love, profound friendship, loyalty, and trust. So, okay, so this is kind of like the Two of Cups. With false person, examine the situation carefully. Okay, so basically they're saying, like, look at the other cards around this deck to determine the situation. So here, in this instance, I have unexpected events. So I think there's some sort of unexpected event that will be tied to a partnership, a relationship of some sort. That's what I see. So let's look at your um, energies individually. I'm going to start with you. Four of Cups reverse, Nine of Cups reverse, and the Five of Swords reverse. Yikes, Pisces. I don't know what happened here, but um, I feel like you didn't get your wish granted. You didn't get what you wanted. You might have even been taken advantage of or something just wasn't fair to you, didn't feel fair to you. Um, I feel like you're overcoming the i don't know maybe before you were closed to an idea or an opportunity but now you're becoming open to that let's see can we get some clarity please for Pisces? the nine of cups reverse for me as a reader typically means that your wish was not granted there's no satisfaction or there was a compromise. You got what you wanted, but you had to give something up. So let's see. And if you're curious about like how to interpret tarot for love, um, you can check out my book, Love Tarot Made Easy. It's available on Amazon. I go over every single card upright and reverse. All right, tell me about this Four of Cups reverse. The High Priestess. Okay, so this could have been, okay, let, let me get one more. Can I get one more for this Four of Cups reverse? Yeah, the moon, there you are Pisces. So this is like the unknown, this is a lack of clarity here with the moon and the high priestess, secrets, hidden factors, mysterious elements. Um, the moon is a card that could be about fear or confusion or doubt because you can't see clearly. Um, it could be an illusion, right? Something that you think you're seeing is just not what it is. There's more beneath, beneath the surface, etc., etc. When I see these two cards together, I think of something that you're not aware of. There's something that you're not aware of, you don't have clarity, you you're confused because of the lack of clarity and then i have the lovers at the bottom of the deck so this could be confusion lack of clarity um secrecy surrounding a connection i feel like 
something that had to do with this connection. And I don't know if it's this particular person. It could have been just love in general. But I feel like whatever this is, you were not clear enough about it. And I think it's changed your outlook or changed the way that you deal with it. Like this has influenced you because you're now feeling open to something with the Four of Cups reverse. I'm not seeing this Four of Cups reverse as renewed interest because that's one of the meanings of the Four of Cups reverse. More like before you were focused on what had already happened, you weren't open to a new opportunity. I feel like now you're open to something because you haven't gotten clarity. And the Five of Swords reverse is a card about overcoming conflict, resolving conflict. So you have restoring balance. Tell me about the Five of Swords reverse. Why is the Five of Swords reverse? Yeah, you're making a judgment call here regarding some sort of conflict. You're probably realizing that you were mistreated or realizing that things weren't fair to you. Okay, three of wands. I feel like you are uh, waiting for something. Now the three of wands, they've, they've already put some, some stuff. Yeah, the fool. They've already put some steps or taken some steps towards something. And now they're waiting for kind of some result. The fool is here though. So I think you're just waiting to make a move of some sort. I think you're the one. Have, trying to have a new beginning or interested in a new beginning. Tell me about this Nine of Cups reverse. What's this Nine of Cups reverse about? Yeah, Six of Swords. You did not get what you deserved or what you desired. And you're leaving something. You're tired, Nine of Wands. You don't trust someone or you're just... It's too much. I think that this connection or something in your life affected you so badly that now you're just focused on what else is out there. So let's look at your person. Ten of Cups, Reverse, Seven of Wands. Nope, that's not Seven of Wands. Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So this person is focused on a new beginning as well, except that they're very doubtful with the Seven of Pentacles that it could happen. Maybe they're not sure that they would be successful. Now they do have the Ten of Cups reverse, which is kind of like deep unhappiness, uh, disappointment, heartbreak. So they're not doing very well, probably because they're going through a tower moment. And this tower moment could be that you're walking away from them, or they could be I'm having a tower moment within a partnership, like apart from you. Um, or just a tower moment in their life that affects their connection. Why is the Ten of Cups reverse? Why is the Ten of Cups reverse? Wow, the Ten of Cups. So when I see these two cards next to each other, I think an illusion. Something looks good on the outside, or this is probably what someone wants. Ten of Cups, Two of Cups, but they don't have it right now. That's why they're so heartbroken. Can I get one more for the Ten of Cups reverse? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. This person has lofty goals, ambitions here. They want it all. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups. That's everything, right? Like everything you could possibly want. Not just emotional fulfillment, but long-term stability. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And they want a loyal, dependable, reliable partner. Queen of Pentacles for me as a reader is like the ideal spouse. So this person has um, a lot of uh, dreams, I, I'm guessing. Uh, wants, needs. So why the Seven of Pentacles? They have doubts that this will happen. Maybe they're waiting for something, trying to be patient. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so they're, they're, they have doubts that they're going to get their wish. Nine of Cups. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Yeah, Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups. So nines are kind of numbers about like transitions, 
fulfillment, getting something right. <laughs> but I feel like when I see the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Wands here, I'm getting someone that's like, they're not giving up on this dream, this wish. They're not giving up on this idea. They don't want to let this go, despite the fact that maybe it's difficult to get. What's this Ace of Wands? I'm trying to figure out if you and this person are like together, because I don't know if there's already a separation or if you're together. I don't see it in the cards. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. King of Pentacles. Okay. So when I see, okay, when I think of the Ace of Wands and the King of Pentacles, I think of, again, this energy over here with the Knight of Pentacles. And look, there's the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Remember when I was talking about somebody that's, their approach is um, taking their time, not rushing, not ri taking a lot of risks um, into whatever new beginning they're going into. This is the same energy. This King of Swords, King of Pentacles. This is somebody that is be being very um, calculating, intelligent, uh, analytical. Whatever is happening with this new beginning, this person is trying to be very smart about it and very careful about it. Can I get one more for this Ace of Wands? Why is the Ace of Wands here? Yeah, this is about going after something. Can you tell me more about this Ace of Wands? My guess is that this has to do with you or with love. With getting this Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Justice. Yeah, Libra Energy, Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So they just want to have success. They want to restore the balance, I feel. They want to make things right, this person and go after what they desire most, which I feel is connected to you in some way here. Yeah, Queen of Cups after that. This is about love, the Magician after that, yeah. This person, look at this energy here, Six of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Magician. Like This is somebody that's focused, willing to work for what they want, willing to manifest. So that's your person's energy. Um, let's get some, oh, let's get some uh, insight into what they're thinking or feeling. Can I get some insight into what this person is thinking or feeling about Pisces? What are they thinking or feeling about Pisces? What are they thinking or feeling about Pisces? I don't react when people mention you. I wish I could share my good news with you. Okay, so there could be distance between you and this person. Maybe this is a uh, connection that already had some sort of separation. And that's why there's the Eight of Cups re reverse, you know, the return. What else? Look at my secret moon oracle deck here. What else do we need to know about this person? What are their thoughts, feelings, energies towards Pisces or this connection? Please forgive me. I'm ready to commit. Okay, so this is somebody that perhaps is... Um, Wanting to prove themselves to you. I'm working on myself is at the bottom of the deck here. So this could be somebody that, you know, they want to reconcile, restore that balance, like I said, with justice. You know, they, they I mean, their goal is very clear. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups. I mean, that's, they want it all. I'm not sure what this tower is about. I don't see anything here that would be like a tower moment. Um, I don't even see them communicating with you. I see them wanting to go after a new beginning here. The King of Swords, they show up. But for some reason, I think that's just their approach. Um, Eight of Wands is here, but I wonder if this is them or you. It's more like this is how they feel about you right now. This is, and it might surprise you that they want this partnership, that they want forgiveness, that they're ready to commit to you because for so long, perhaps, they just pretended that they weren't affected by what's happened because something clearly happened here. But I don't know, Pisces. Something tells me that a lot of you are just ready to move on and make moves on your own here because you were not satisfied. You know, you didn't get what you wanted. So I guess it's going to be completely up to you how you react to this person. 